Welcome to the Terraform Business Theater. Our crew will be stuck up here for at least five years before the first colonists arrive. Did you sign the non-disclosure agreement? Hmm, good. Then, let me give you some of the basics of our operation here. Stage 1. Survey. Geological surveying shouldn't take too long. The geology of most exoplanets in their stars habitable zone is ridiculously Earth-like. Liquid water, plate tectonics, similar soil compositions, not to mention near-identical gravity and average temperatures. Aside from working out the exact numbers up for the maps, we don't actually need to do much. Stage 2. Oxygenization. The atmosphere is a separate issue. Most people don't know this, but oxygen only became a part of Earth's atmosphere when photosynthesis first evolved 3 million years ago. Most Earth-like exoplanets have a native atmosphere of carbon dioxide and methane instead, and will need to replicate the oxygenization process artificially by releasing genetically engineered cyanobacteria into the waters. Then, we just wait a couple weeks until it clears up the methane and fills the air and seas with oxygen. Stage 3. Cleanup. The cleanup process is actually the hardest part. The one thing they don't tell you in the ants. You see, while oxygen is crucial to the survival of aerobenics life forms like us, it's actually toxic to life forms with alternate means of respiration. If you were to breathe, say, Methane. A sudden shift in oxygen methane levels would turn your organs inside out. Long story short, most people think we never encountered intelligent life beyond Earth. And the last step is to make damn sure that no one finds anything suspicious enough to make them think otherwise.